cases with joins with inner join we will get right so if there is a match on department id that means that department has a employee and we saw this example here right so if we consider this query we will get the department id from employees and then we will filter out the records so when i run this query i get three departments hr engineering finance which means there is at least one employee for this particular departments right and that's the question but to do any such scenarios wherein you just have to you know check if something exists or not in a table at least one employee because a department might have lacks of employees right you don't want to scan the lack all the 1 lakh employees because that will be costly right if you are joining on department id 201 the 201 will join with 1 lakh 201 entries in employee table and it will fetch how many records as the output 1 lakh records right okay so yeah. i will explain it to you in a different way first let's see this example how we can write this query using a correlated sub query so it's like select d name from department where in select so what i did here i compared this employee dot but oh where the department id not exists sorry for that so where exist what we want to check we want to check if there is any employee in employee table right who has the department id matching to any department id from department table so in a select part it's not necessary that you need to select a column even if even if i just give a one and this value matches right means any department id from department matches with any department id from employee table this condition will be true so whatever you select columns you give in the select clause doesn't matter actually so we generally give select one because whatever we select here makes no relevance for our outer query right so outer query is only dependent on this join in case of sub query we will get a result and this result is compared with this column from department table and we fetched the output and one more thing we discussed if i run this inner query individually it runs fine but if i run this inner query individually it will not run because it says it cannot find department not department id why it cannot find oh because first thing is there is nothing called as department my bad But let's run it again. Oh, entire query ran. Sorry, again I was shocked. I told something else. So if I run this sub query, it still gives me error. It says I cannot find department dot department ID because it is part of the outer query, right? Department is not part of this bracket. That table is defined here. So this is how correlated sub query works. so here you cannot just run the inner query individually but in case of normal sub queries we can do this right so if i run this query now i get the same results hr engineering finance if i run this query now i get the same results so sub query correlated sub query inner join will give me the same result right so where i have the inner join query it is left join this one right you see engineering finance and hr so same question we did in three different ways first using joins second using sub queries and the third one using correlated sub queries